everyone and welcome to my channel Olga's Primary Maths. In this video I'm going to explain to you the format of the three math SATs papers, standard assessment tests which children in England take at the end of year 6 when they are age 10 or 11. SATs are normally held in May. As I mentioned earlier there are three maths papers in this test. First one is arithmetic which lasts 30 minutes and there are two reasoning papers which take 40 minutes each. I'm going to show you what kind of questions you might have in your tests and what type of topics we might need to cover. I'm going to make separate videos on different subjects. Let's go and have a look at some examples of the questions. Show, they're putting on a show, aren't they? It's gorgeous. So there they are. Three mass papers that you're going to have in your SATs. Your arithmetic arithmetic paper, which takes 30 minutes, and your two reasoning papers, which take 40 minutes each. All of these past SATs papers are available online on gov.uk website. I'm going to put it in my description below. Arithmetic paper has about 36 questions and each question is either one mark is worth one mark or two marks each. And then it starts pretty simple. So there are things which children can easily probably work out in their head, but they don't have to work it out in their head. They've got all this space to show their calculations. So there's no words, it's just simple arithmetic. Knowing how to do your four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, then knowing fractions, what to do with fractions, how to add them, how to subtract them, how to multiply fractions, how to multiply fractions by whole numbers, how to divide by 10, order of operations, and finding percentages of numbers. So this is what arithmetic paper is. Okay, let's look at reasoning papers. Right, so a reasoning paper compared to a arithmetic paper includes all sorts of questions. So there might be a worded question to start with and then children will ha might have to find a missing number, they might need to find a reflection of a shape or missing numbers in a sequence yeah, or identify how many uh, litres of paint are in the container that's been able to read the scales. So there's different, different, lots of different questions. I'm not just going to go over them now. I'm just showing you a brief overview of what they might expect. I'm going to do separate videos on different subjects. Triangle, right, so they have to draw this triangle accurately using a protractor and a ruler. Then rounding, rounding numbers, yeah. There's different things. Working out a perimeter and the area by knowing certain things. So explain how you know the other numbers are not prime numbers. So you have to circle a prime number. Take the fractions that are equal to 20%. So graphs, yeah. Been able to work out a volume. All this is year six. So that's first reasoning paper there's another reasoning paper as well well they they won't be exactly the same questions obviously but they'll be similar there's a bit of algebra as well i'm going to cover a bit of algebra simple algebra yeah can you see word problems and uh, let me see if there are some um, questions on averages like mean, median, modern, range, there might be. 
So this that's a pictogram here. Yeah. Right, so there's loads and loads of questions which are mass reasoning questions. Probably not a one step problem. I can see straight away like two or three steps problem. There's some algebra again thrown in. Working out the coordinates of certain points, yeah. So there's a lot of skills they need to know. Uh, how to work out the perimeter of a rectangle, how to work out an area of a rectangle, an area of a triangle, things like this, yeah. So there's lots of different questions. I didn't see a question on finding a missing angle here, but there might be a question asking to find a missing angle in a shape, maybe in a shape or uh, on a line. So this is just an example, that's a brief overview. Okay, and I'm going to do separate videos on each topic. In this video, I'm going to explain to you I don't know what I'm going to explain to you about, so I'm tired of that.